Opera has always had different components in addition to the human voice and the music of the players in the pit. And one of the big art forms, art disciplines, that was always a big part of opera is ballet and dance. And at the Atlanta Opera, we are embracing this kind of partnership by bringing different choreographers that we collaborate with uh, and different dancers that are a huge part of the company uh, and have been so in the past few years. Over the past few seasons, we brought into Atlanta uh, flamenco choreographer slash dancer Sonia Ola. We worked with choreographers like Donald Byrd, Amir Levy, John McFall, and many others who are a major part of this alchemy of different art forms that come together to make the canvas of opera bigger than all its parts. And along the way, we created meaningful relationships with some of those dancers that return again and again to perform in our productions from Salome to Carmen, Three Penny Opera. They're doing multiple things. It's not just dance, they're actors. Uh, they help us with puppetry. They do everything on stage and they're a real part of the company of players that we have at the Atlanta Opera. I actually auditioned for the first one. It's a really cool thing. I've always wanted to dance for the opera. So thankfully got the audition and then they just keep wanting to see my mug after that, which is great. <laughs> there should always be joy in collaboration and joy in creation. And when you're working for someone who kind of trusts you at a baseline, then that can build and it's a, it can be a really beautiful collaborative process. It's super special to be respected and heard by an artistic director, I mean, of any organization, but an organization as massive as this, where he could be doing a lot of other things, mm -hmm. um, to really care and cherish what two dancers have to say, it's, yeah. it's a lot. My collaboration with the Atlanta Opera really just has been a way of me falling in love with opera in a way that I, I didn't know existed. Having that open dialogue of being able to contribute my ideas, or even just getting to see the singers, how they kind of really took charge of how, um, what they think that that character would be doing at the moment. It was really strong to see that. I knew about her, but I'd never really met her or worked with her or spoken with her before our first show together. And, and we actually, there was just a lot of women in the Salome, so we didn't really, no one really invested in friendships, I think, at that point as much. But when it was just the two of us working and Pagliacci and Kaiser, basically it was two of us kind of on our own. We didn't have a choreographer and it was much in the experimental stage of these whole year of performances. So we relied on each other and that reliance and need for a trusting relationship grew into a friendship. <laughs> I adore working with her. It's just nice to know that you can come into the space and have a person who can rely on, especially when we came back the first time, um, yeah. just not knowing how the space was gonna be with restrictions. Mm -hmm. And so being able to have someone who's just like, whatever we do, we're gonna be together in it. It's just been really special to have that. Yeah. And we really got to bond through that too. And we didn't even know we were bonded until like <laughs> halfway through the performances, I looked at her and I was like, I think you're my best friend. <laughs> I tell Tomer all the time, I'm like, if you don't ask me back, I will come back in a wig and I'll change my name and you're gonna hire me back. <laughs> because it just, it makes so much sense. 